Hey everybody, welcome to the EFJ Show. I'm your host, Ernest Faust, JR. We're gonna, let's talk about it all night long. If Miss Dina uh, Puick let me talk about it. Well, I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm glad to be back home. My second home is Atlanta. But right now, I just wanna let everybody know, I have a guest, we're gonna talk about uh, some accounting, y'all. And that way we, we have Miss Dina Puick again. Welcome to the EFJ Show. Let's talk about it. Thank you, glad to be here. Miss Dita, you got a bright smile on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to be here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm glad you're here. And then you decided to come to my little old show. Right. <laughs> and yes, ma'am. Miss Dina, we're going to jump right into it. I want, I start off, ask all my guests, and, and uh, but tell us a little bit about yourself and your current profession. Okay, well, of course, I'm an accountant um, here in the Atlanta, Georgia area, born and raised. Um, I started my business about seven years ago, providing bookkeeping and accounting services for small to mid-sized businesses. Um, and also helped quite a few personal, on the personal side as well, help mm -hmm. get their finances together mm -hmm. so they'll know where their money's going, in and out. <laughs> okay, 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 you're all about the money then. That's right. And uh, you know, uh, uh, for reference to uh, accounting, how long you been doing this thing again? Ooh, wow. Um, on about 17 years now. Well, you've been doing it for a minute. Yes. yes. So you, you you know numbers then? I, I know accounting. You know accounting. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Stop. Wait a minute. What's the difference between, I'm going to help y'all educate you, because my show is about education and inspiration, and, and, and we're going to ask you to, what's the difference between accounting and a credit person that helps people Okay, well with accounting, what we do, you have to look at accounting like being a puzzle. Mm -hmm. We're trying to find out where your expense goes. So for example, if you were to go to um, Office Depot and you purchase supplies, well what we do, we put those expenses in a financial software, um, one everyone knows, for example, QuickBooks, mm -hmm. and we put those expenses in the accounting software system to help build your financials, which is like your profit and loss statement, mm -hmm. your balance sheet. So, you know, from a credit preparer, what they do, they just get your credit together, you know, to help right. you be able to get some type of finance and things like that. Um, but with accounting, accounting is one of those steps that is needed for those gotcha. that are looking to get their credits together. So, mm -hmm. um, but the finance portion, you ha you got to know where, where your inflows and your outflows, whether you're, if you're in business, whether you're making money or not, pretty much. Oh, okay. You, so you help people, if you got a good book, you can make good money. Exactly. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. What um, what made you start and you wanted your own business? Did you work for a full, you self-employed now, you got your own independent? You worked for some other big company within that? Now? I did, yes. Um, I was an accounting manager working for uh, a lot of property management company. Most of my background is in that. Um, I did start off small working for um, a bank called South Trust Bank, mm -hmm. not Sun Trust, <laughs> South, okay, South Trust. Generic, bank. right? Yes. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, they're not even in operation anymore, okay. but, um, you know, and that was one of my things. Like, I always like to see things balanced. And when I took my first accounting class, because to be honest, I actually went to school to do hair. Wow. I was a cosmetist. I went to um, Griffin Tech, which is now called Southern Technical College. Mm -hmm and um, went and got my license to be a master cosmetologist. Wow. And, but I knew that wasn't my calling, like what I wanted to do. Um, so I ended up taking an accounting class and I just fell in love with it. And it's a little bit of numbers, not a mathematician, by far, I still need a calculator to add. Come on now, <laughs> it's come a on, let's go. But you know, with the accounting piece, I just love how things balance out and that's what accountants do. They look at make sure that you're balancing out and again, just knowing where things go is, is like a puzzle at the end of the day. Oh, uh, will you say, uh, in reference to each family household, I'll say, uh, you said like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, when people are mismanaging money, so therefore, in the, and they say, well, I want to go to Miss Dina, a Puick of accounting, and I want to sit down. Can you get my account, my, my money right? Right. Well, what I can do is help get you a budget together. Okay. To help you, and help you find out where your money is going. Are mm -hmm. you eating out too much? Oh, are you talk to much? me. Right, right. Are you getting your nails done? Mm -hmm. You know, going quite often. It's just those type of things that people don't know. Like you, if you're working, for example, and you're just constantly going to lunch, mm -hmm. out to eat, that, those little $5 meals and $4 that meals adds add up. up. Yeah. Right. So at the end of the month, you're trying to figure out why, okay, I know I'm supposed to have X amount of dollars left over at the end of the month. 
why not? Well, you've been on spent almost four or five hundred dollars just eating out, and that'll that'll put that thought in your mind like, okay, I need to start. Okay, lunch. as you get your clients right, mm -hmm. and you tell them uh, if you want to come out the hole, you got to be disciplined. You ever, you ever yes. have to come down oh, on someone? Oh yes. How do yes, they take we have it? That called come to Jesus conversation. What I call it. <laughs> All right, come on to Jesus. <laughs> what then. I call it because they it's, it's a realization on what they're spending their money on, and they're not because again, once you put something on paper versus you just because people think they got money in their bank account. Oh, I got mm -hmm. money. I got money in my account. But what happened is that they start seeing it on paper and then realize they're in the red and not the black. Mm. Yep. When they start, you put it in writing, it's, 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 it's right there. Huh? It's right there in your face. When I was military, if it ain't in writing, it ain't right. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It, it exactly. gotta be right if it isn't writing. Uh, tell me something. Uh, when did you first came to yourself and I asked uh, Minister Thomas back in his thing. I didn't say, but when do you know when you want that this is it instead of a master of cosmetologist? Right. You knew that in your soul that this is what I'm supposed to do. Well, of course, again, um, I went um, from, from an education perspective. I went from having my associate's degree, my bachelor's degree, and my master's degree in accounting. So I'm an MBA mm -hmm. in accountant. And I worked for all different types. Like I said, I was in government accounting, working mm -hmm. for um, the state of Georgia, for example, with CERTA State Road and Tollway mm -hmm. Authority. Um, so I've held some quite a nice positions, mm -hmm. um, nice paying positions. Right. Yes, ma'am. And what made me come into this this career, I mean, well, you know, my running my company was that um, I had a conversation with my, my father, my dad, mm -hmm. and he's an electrician himself, and he's been on his job a little bit over 40 years. Mm. And, you know, I was just telling him, like, you know, Dad, you, you have your electrician license. You're good at your hands. You're unrestricted. You can work on any building that you want to work on. Why don't you just start your own business? And, we was, like I said, we was on the phone. I'm headed on 285 going to work, and he just said that he's, he said he was too old. He was like, I'm oh. too old. He said, but you and your sisters, y'all got all this education and all the experience that you have. Why don't you start your own mm. business? And it didn't dawn on me, like, why don't I start That light bulb then came in. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, why don't I start my own business? So, you know, and I told him he was right, but you know, I didn't think nothing else of it. But it was, um, you know, the whole, the weekend rent came around. How, that's my question. How long did it take, it didn't take with the kick in? All. And, it, and the thing about it, it wasn't in here, it was the Lord who told me. Come he on, spoke man. It to me. I woke up Sunday morning, getting ready to go to church. And I had thought about it that Saturday night. And then I woke up that Sunday morning, getting ready to go to church. And it was like, I'm going to start my business. And I started mm. right then and there, May, May 12, 2012, when I started. Wow. So when you started, did you, so you know the Lord told you. It was, yes. But were you afraid that you were going to, come on now. Very afraid. Very afraid. Very afraid. Because I was making, I was making about dollars you, you, you get in my, com, in my job. You're getting out of your comfort zone now. <laughs> exactly. But that's the thing. When, 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 you're, when you know something is right, it's not supposed to be comfortable for you. If it's supposed to be right, that's it's right. not supposed to be that's comfortable. That's right. That's right. So I knew that. I felt that then. But I was like, you know what? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, take this faith, walk of faith, and step out, and that's what I did. Wow! You, and you know what, people? I got I'm in this old. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> you know what, people? I'm gonna tell you something, Miss Dina. I want you to look in that camera, and I want you to, to tell the people that want to do and go into their own business to take that leap of faith and don't look back. Encourage take people. that take that faith if you got it in you pray on it and just just go with the Lord because he's gonna push you he's gonna he's not gonna guide you wrong he's definitely not gonna guide you wrong he has it for me so far and I've been doing it for seven years and you know what people after that we'll be back with more Miss Dina Hewitt of Atlanta Georgia accounting we'll be back after these messages Uh, hit single of uh, Savior by the name of G2K or G2X. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody clap your hands like this. All I need is you. 
I don't need no one else cause you're my savior All I need is you I don't need no one else cause you're my savior All I need is you I don't need no one else cause you're my savior All I need is you I don't need no one else Soon as I call my father, yeah, you know he coming. Like morning, afternoon, and night, and he coming running. He never turned me away, tell him I mean something. Hallelujah, bless his name with clapping and stomping. Wounded for my transgression, Isaiah 53. And crushed for my iniquities, what he did for me. That's why I bless the Lord, his wounds healed me. It's hallelujah, bless his name, cause he set me free. Jump up and down, run all around, do what you gotta do. And it's a praise in my belly, I just gotta let it loose. Now just think of the goodness of what he did for you. Now act the fool for the Lord, cause you know it's true. The Lord, the Lord, King of Kings, we gon' worship you. Not in the flesh, but in the spirit that satisfy you. We cry out to you, Lord, can you help us through? It's already done in your name, cause we believe in you. I don't need no one else, cause you're my savior. I don't need is you. I don't need. Now on the count of three, I need a little bit of help. We're gonna give on the highest praise. One, two, three, praise. Hallelujah, ha hallelujah, hallelujah, ha hallelujah, hallelujah, ha hallelujah, hallelujah, ha hallelujah. Now make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Like woo! Hallelujah, Lord. He embodied the praises of all his people. And in the eyes of the Lord, we are created equal. Now the respect of a person, he's a just God. He did for me, he'll do for you. This trust in God. Sit still and know that he is God. You hold on, don't faint, then you sit with God. When tribulations come, we rejoice in it. For there's a blessing in the storm, so stay in it. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Just put the armor of God on, then you will avoid. A lot of pain, homie, not cause you blessed with joy. And something the devil can't take away from you with your joy. He tried to make you think it's over, so just give up. But God said we got the victory and that's what's up. All I need is you. I don't need no one else cause you're my savior. All I need is you. I don't need no one else cause you're my savior. All I need is you. I don't need no one else. Right, we gotta give him that highest praise again. One, two, three, praise. Hallelujah, ha hallelujah. Hallelujah, ha hallelujah, hallelujah, ha hallelujah, hallelujah, ha hallelujah. Bless y'all. Hey everybody, welcome back to the EFJ Show. Let's talk about it. I'm your host, Ernest Files Jr. Today's guest, today's guest, she know accounting. And you talking about some time in accounting, she know her calling to fulfill. Welcome back to the EFJ Show, Miss Dina Peel. Again, I pronounce your name right. That you're close, but that's fine. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> How that's you doing? Right. I'm good. I'm good, good, good. Hey, uh, that was a powerful word you gave to the people. But in reference to doing exactly what you're calling to fulfill, so what's supposed to do, just take that leap of faith. And I appreciate that. But you know what? I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What type of clients you attract to you, to your business right now? Right now, it's been a lot of churches and nonprofits. Um, that's pretty much where um, I, I have two churches that I do the books for right now. Um, they're both here in the Atlanta and the um, Hampton, Georgia area. Mm -hmm and on nonprofits and organizations. But I, I have all type of clients throughout the state of wow. Georgia and also outside of the state of Georgia as well. Um, because not only do I provide bookkeeping and accounting service, I also provide payroll services as well. Okay. So I have um, a couple of doctor's office that I do the books for as well. Um, Restaurants, spa, hair salons. There is, you know, I don't put a limit on it because- I'm not, no, You can't cap it out. Exactly, no. exactly. And everyone needs help in that area when it comes, you know, they're running the business. 
do you make everybody go to, to your office by appointments or you can go to their offices or whatever the case or place of business? It's both. Okay. It's both. Um, with some of my weekly clients, I do go on our site because I'm the type, I like it personal, so. Case by case. Exactly, exactly. Um, but I, I want a client to feel comfortable being able to work with me because you got to understand, I'm dealing with clients that have revenue from 20 to almost a million plus a year mm -hmm. um, that they're generating. Um, and, you know, you're, you're dealing with their personal finance and from a business perspective and also money. And it was funny, it's funny to say that because um, I have a client that I do the books for mm -hmm. and he actually told me I knew more about him than his wife. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the thing like I was showing him things about his finance that, you know, for his business that mm -hmm. he didn't know. So being on the phone with them, meeting them, I meet with most of my clients once a month or like I said, I have something I meet on a weekly basis. And they, they really take that and they enjoy that because they get that interaction. Oh yeah, you go like, especially you're doing the hands-on thing. Exactly, exactly. Um, so have you ever had a client that uh, pretty much say, hey, I can't afford you? Yes, I do have that. Um, but I do work with my clients because I, like you said on a case case-to-case basis, I look at their finance and see where they are. And I do have a, a schedule, a fee schedule on how I work with my client. So as they're, especially if someone that's just getting started, because I know the now. cash flow yeah. can be kind of low. So right. I do work with my clients when it, when it, when they're fresh and new and just mm -hmm. getting started. And I've been ran into some who, you know, they've had a hard time in the process and trying to get them together so they can understand. But again, you you deal with clients that either they need your service mm -hmm. or they don't, or they know they need it and don't know the proper way because they don't have the funds to right. pay for it. But I do work with them. So basically, you, you, Miss Dina, you don't turn down nobody. No. Mm -mm. You're almost like a salesman. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I was selling cars back in the day in Miami, uh, when I used to sell average about 23 to 30 wow. cars a month, that's wow. on a slow day, wow. slow month. But cause, because I never let nobody walk off that lot right. uh, without selling them a car. Exactly. Because they need it. They just need it. That's neat. And, yeah. and, and there's a difference between a wants and a need, and that's a need. That's a and need. it's just like, well, accounting. Most people think it's a want. No, when you're running your business, you need accounting. Absolutely. Because whether the economy is good or bad, you're going to need to know where you are financially to whether you need to keep operating or close it down before you file bankruptcy. That's true. That's so mm -hmm. true. Tell me, so, um, do you have any uh, major hit of clients that you work with in Atlanta? I do. Uh, I you don't have to name the name. Names. Yeah, but mm -hmm. um, I do have some that's here. Um, some in the entertainment business. And again, that's what for I'm um, about. the church, nice size church that I do the book. Oh, oh, good, good. Yeah. Tell me something. Uh, what do you plan on taking your business in the next two years? Um, continue to grow. I'm looking to be, you know, past the six figures, hopefully, right. and, and you know, and pretty much being able to grasp a little bit more outside of the state of Georgia. You want to move you out. Know, yeah, I do. Um, I do tap into the Florida area right now. I'm um, getting ready to actually open my office in the Jacksonville area, okay. uh, which is almost like a second home. I vacation there like maybe two or three times a year. Okay. <laughs> I just okay. came from there a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. so, but I am looking to open an office in the Jacksonville area. Oh, that's a beautiful situation. Mm -hmm. and, and tell me something, how do you market your business? Oh, I do have a website. Um, I'm on Facebook. Um, I do um, advertise on, you know, I'm on Google, um, Yahoo, um, wherever I can market and post. I do flyers and post up where, you know, some places have a community board. That's right. Um, and most of mine come from word of mouth. And I'm a QuickBook Pro advisor as well. So mm -hmm. my information is in their directory. Oh, good. Um, so, you know, I'm the type of person like, if, you know, I do pay for marketing and advertising, but I do it at a low cost. Right. Perspective because I am an accountant. I account mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Am I safe? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I don't want to spend too much money, but I know yeah, I need to spend it my deal. So, you know, that's about I still have with myself a little bit. Yeah. But most of mine come from word of mouth, word and which of is mouth. a good thing. And people just Google. Um, your name pop up. They pop, it pops up. Your name or your business my name? My business. What is your business name? Pruitt Hand to Hand Bookkeeping and Accounting Services. Okay. It's lengthy. But okay, it's lengthy, but it's right. It's right. Yes, right. But, um, I could say, you know what, with your personality and your business is going hand in hand, I mean, it ain't nothing but big up respect to you. Mm -hmm. I can see that you're a hard worker and you truly care about your clients. 
and, and you, when you say case by case, you know, people don't have the money, but yes, still you work with them. I do. You work it out I for do. them. I try not to miss a blessing from nothing. So if I can give you a blessing You talking now, somebody, my sister. <laughs> you fell at that, that, right? <laughs> I'll tell you, I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I pretty much give everything. Like, I know without the Lord, like, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. I know that's worth yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So I get my due time where it's due. Well, that's a beautiful situation. And I could tell you one thing about you. I mean, just to have you on my show today, and you educated me. <laughs> you know, I really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And and the people who out there that are listening to this show and seeing this show, get contact with her. Get in contact with her because she's got a sweet, sweet personality. And I want you to look into that camera again before we go, before we close. I want you to let people know that you will work with her. Yes, I will definitely work with you. Um, don't worry about the calls. I will work with you on the calls. I just want to be able to help get everybody on track and online with their accounting. Well, you know what, people? Let me tell you something. If you got an accounting problem, take it to Miss Dina. And what's the name of your uh, business again? Pruitt Hand to Hand Bookkeeping and Accounting Services. Contact Miss Pruitt, and she will tighten your books up. You will get back on the right track from low budget to high budget. You call Miss <laughs> Dina. Well, thank you for being on the EFJ show. Let's talk about it. I'm your host, Ernest Faust, JR. You know what? And I truly believe that God is real. Be blessed.